So it's after midnight tonight, and I was, I've been laying here for the last hour or two, uh, meditating on money. And as you guys know, um, my relationship with money has been difficult, the energy of money. A couple years ago, I connected with uh, what I perceived as the energy of money, and I've told you all before that it felt very feminine to me, very bubbly, very uh, fast, very um, wanting to get to everybody if you just allow it. Well, during my meditation over the last couple hours, I, re I found out or asked the question or connected with that all-knowingness that I do and found out that um, in this dualistic creation that there's a split in money as well. So when we go back to unity or towards unity consciousness, we have to balance that. And that balance is in money as well. And there is feminine and masculine energies in money that has been split. And the masculine side, or what I'm going to call masculine side, has been taken over by the elites, the super wealthy. And the feminine aspect has been the part that has been um, given or delegated to the masses. And what that does is the masculine energy is more like, <clears throat> I think your average man tries to accumulate money and get it and keep it. And the more money they have, then that means they're better. Or that's what society says. I'm not saying that's what every man says, but that's just basically your uh, masculine out outlook, that it's kind of a, a way to keep score. <clears throat> and the feminine energy of money is more about using it to help support uh, a family, like a mother nurturing their family. Okay, so what this basically turns out to be is that the masculine energy, the one that's grabbed and been controlled by the uh, elites, is the taking part of this equation. And the feminine part is the giving part. So the feminine has gone to the masses and it's been more of a uh, get the money but then put it back out there to support which is exactly how it goes back to the elite. And then the elite have taken it and hoarded it, which we all know. Okay, so in order for money to be out in the the energy of money, which is kind of the uh, vascular system of the planet Earth, in order to correct that, then we have to bring in both the masculine and the feminine aspects of money and balance them. So we have to figure out how to do that. Okay, so we have to, uh, I'll get back with you on this as I figure it all out. Now that I've figured out that aspect and how that's got to be corrected in myself to take me to the collective where they are in balance. Of course, this uh, story of bringing things together, of collapsing timelines, of balancing things, that's not a new uh, story, but it is an interesting one that I didn't know about whenever it comes to money. So I will be incorporating this balance, this trying to ask the right questions to get the information from the all that is, the other side, the Akashic Record, whatever it is, um, that I can access that information. I'll be trying to over the next <clears throat> few days, see if I can ask the questions and get some answers for myself. And of course, I'll pass it on to all of you on how to get that energy flow um, balanced and going in and out so that it can go to the masses, so that it can be brought into balance and moving back and forth as, as the natural state of it should be. So I just thought that I'd have to wake up and and do this video real quick and share that with you guys because I just um, think it's amazing. I had no idea this was completely new, which sets it up for all kinds of new things that I'm going to be looking into. The things that I think have been feminine energy, that means absolutely that they're not. Then that means that there is a masculine counterpart to whatever it is that needs to be brought into play and balanced in the situation.
and that that should help balance everything and get me personally closer to the fifth dimensional vibration. So, uh, yeah, there's that. I am a little bit sleepy. I hope this uh, turns out okay. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and plug it in because it tends to download faster at night out here in the boonies. So, uh, hope you all have a good night. I love you all. Huge hugs, and I'll talk to you later. Bye now. Oh, did you notice? I'm covered in paint. This is how I paint. I have paint everywhere. I'm just not the neatest painter in the world. Of, of painting the house, painting rooms. I'm not doing my personal painting. I'm painting a house. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, uh, good night, everybody. Love you bunches. Bye now.